Hey everybody, Joshua with Oh I Had That here, back again with another YouTube video for you. Please, if you have not yet, hit subscribe, hit those notifications, and please comment. Let's get a conversation going here on YouTube. If you don't already follow us, go to Instagram at Oh I Had That. Follow all the nostalgia. everybody we're back here at oh i had that on youtube and i promised you i was going to pull things out of my collections to talk about uh we have everything from vhs to toys to magazines to random fast food memories well today i want to talk about tv guides that's right tv guides your mom and dad made sure that you had it on the coffee table ready for you when you were going to sit down and watch the tube you grab your soda you grab your trusty remote well what's on? I don't know what's on. Maybe I need the TV guide. This was long before that TV guide channel. You tune in and it would scroll through the stations. You would need this little book. You'd pull it out. Let's say it's a Monday night. You'd go to Monday night in there and you'd find the different things that are available. Two and seven, Kate and Allie are on at 8 p.m. Now, Kate and Allie, it's going to give you a synopsis of the episode. A hospitalized Kate, depressed when she isn't discharged on her birthday, decides that misery does indeed love company and talks Allie into having the elective surgery she's been putting off for years. Well, if that doesn't sound good to you, scroll down a bit. Elf is on five and six, stung by inferences that he's a drain on the family's resources. Elf takes a job as a cosmetic sales representative. This is, I mean, you get a synopsis of each episode. Uh, there's even sometimes articles in here, different, you know, I always loved looking at the little ads in the corners um, of what was going to be on that week. There's one for Mary Tyler Moore show. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to look at a few of these in my collection and um, we all know what TV Guide is. We don't have to spend a lot of time on it, but I have some different picks here that um, have some fun covers and we could take a look inside. This first one is all about the 80s. Now, this is from December 9th through the 15th, 1989. Look at that cover. Just a bunch of 80s TV memories. We got Michael J. Fox, uh, Roseanne. You got Elf. You got, can't do a TV guide from the 80s without Elf. Um, even Hulk Hogan made the cover. Look at Hulk Hogan. You know, back in the day, they could have... Uh, cigarette ads and all kinds of different things remember the beauty and the beast tv show wow linda hamilton wasn't that also ron perlman ron perlman is that his big break as as the beast um the young riders remember that show anybody catch that back in the day but yeah 1989 the 80s special issue this is one of my favorites Moving on from that, we have TV child stars. We got a young Jason Bateman. Look at that. We got uh, Keisha Knight from The Cosby Show. Jeremy Miller from The Growing Pains. Grading TV's child stars. Which ones are talented? Which ones are just cute? Well, that is not very they're kids they're all cute they're all talented leave them alone tv guide this is from june 6th through the 12th 1987 i can't believe there's an article that says that but look at this you could even join a tape club in the back of the tv guide remember those like columbia houses you'd owe them like 17 dollars for one cd after you got like 25 free and you never pay for that one extra gum some extra gum ads uh, but yeah let's see what's on in this tv guide on a let's say a thursday night a thursday night in 1987 well 7 to 8 p.m you could catch dick van dyke on channel 22 jeopardy on channel 4 the dating game on channel 6 WKRP in Cincinnati on Channel 11. Now let's jump ahead a little bit. This one is from December 1990. Look at how 90s this is. We got Batman from 89. Now he's on television. We have Dick Tracy. 
And remember the Flash TV show? This one's all about comic book characters. Zap, bang, pow, how Hollywood brings our comic book heroes to life. Well, what could be featured in this? We got an awesome Christmas ad from Kodak. Kodak and Giant Eagle. Remember it with Kodak Film. Now let's see what, what would have been on in on a Friday night in 1990. You have your full TV guide here without synopsises. Looking through the channels to see what's on Friday evening. Four, two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Those must be your main networks up top here. Uh, prime time. So let's look here for 8 p.m. Let's start at 8 p.m. on this. Oh, we got a nice full house ad down in the corner here. Half page full house, Michelle Tanner. It's New Year's Eve and the younger crowd is ready to party. Full house, 8 o'clock. This is on Channel 4. Lonely Joey just might ring in the new year with wedding bells when he falls at first sight for a woman he meets through a video dating service. Uncle Joey on the video dating app service, huh? Now he'd be on uh, Plenty of Fish or something. <laughs> Match.com, Uncle Joey. All right. So Friday at 8 p.m., you could watch Cops on 8 or 53. Of course, Full House was on Channel 4. We have a college bowl game. The Penn State Nittany Lions meet the Florida State Seminoles in the inaugural Blockbuster Bowl. Blockbuster Bowl. Better grab your Blockbuster card. All right. So then we have moving out of the networks. We miss anything cool? Oh, 6 and 21. You can watch an hour of Quantum Leap from last season. Sam drops anchor as a debonair globetrotter aboard a cruise ship where he must capsize the wedding plans of his ex-wife in a venomous hood. Wow, that sounds interesting. I don't know if I've seen that episode. But yeah, the TV Guide, man, you would grab this, you'd read through the what, the show synopsises, and you, you'd read something, and you're like, ooh, that sounds like a great episode. I can't wait. Mr. Rogers on 16. Laverne and Shirley, 22. Brady Bunch on 53. This is Friday afternoon. Yeah, does anyone else collect TV guides? I mean, I just love looking through these still, reading about the shows, seeing shows that I don't remember. Like, You Take the Kids? I don't remember that show at all. It's got Nell Carter in it. Just so interesting to look through these again, see TV episodes that you remember. I have a couple more to show you here. Um, of course, every fall you had to have the fall preview. I have the whole run 1980 through 89 of the fall preview. Uh, this one is September 1981. Look at this one just seems so much, I don't know, just so much more plain compared to the later 80s. They redesigned them, made a little bit more interesting. Um, but look at this ad, St Satter Dazzle. We're on Saturday morning right now, Satter Dazzle. What are we going to watch? Look at this ad, man, for Saturday morning cartoons. This is on CBS, Tom and Jerry, Black Star, Bugs and Bunny, Road Runner, Popeye and Olive, Fat Albert, Trollkins. Oh, that's a fun ad. Just seeing these old ads makes it all worth it just to collect these. Then, of course, you have cigarette ads. Back in the day, they could have those in there. Little uh, stories about different shows. Give me a break. Lewis and Clark. Is that the teacher from Welcome Back, Cotter? Come on. Yeah, this one from uh, the Fall Preview, 1981. Of course... I had to have this one. He passed away not too long ago. Rest in peace, Bob Saget. America's Funniest Home Videos. Look at that. Camcorder. Here's looking at you, America. We all sat down and watched America's Funniest Home Videos with Bob Saget. Of course, loving him on Full House, but seeing him be just uh, his charismatic 
funny guy self on America's Funniest Home Videos. This one's got some great... This one's from March 1990. I swear I just saw Doogie Howser ad in here. We have the Outsiders, short-lived Outsiders TV show. Of course, great movie. Now a Tony Award-winning musical, I believe, The Outsiders. Oh, man, an ad right on the front page for HBO featuring Major League. Everybody loves Major League. Oh, in the back here, this is a great section as well. They have, let's go to the front page of this. They have the movie guide, alphabetically, with ratings, uh, like one through four stars, th that kind of rating of each movie. The Accused, Alien Nation, The Big Carnival, Big Trouble in Little China, one of my faves, Batteries Not Included, 1987. Have you seen Batteries Not Included? Cocktail, Creep Show 2, 1987. Nudity, strong language, and violence. Three Stephen King mini thrillers. A wooden Indian comes to life. A murdered hitchhiker gets revenge. And four teens are terrorized on a lake. 90 minutes. Two stars. Creepshow 2 is better than two stars. Come on now. All right. Day of the Locust. Dead Calm. It just keeps going. Ghoulies 2. Ghoulies 2, PG-13, 1988. One star, 90 minutes. But yeah, that's awesome. The movie guide in the back of this issue. Um, so we went through a few, a handful here from the 80s and early 90s. We got a couple of more. We'll just look at the covers real quick. This one, 1991 featuring Urkel, the Ninja Turtles, Captain Planet. We got Bart Simpson on there, Big Bird. This one all about... Parents' Guide to Children's Television, a 38-page special report. The best new shows for kids of all ages. Best home videos for family viewing. The new age of nonviolent video games. Does TV teach your kids bad manners? How Washington decides what kids watch. Wow. That needed 38 pages. We got Growing Pains featured on this uh, issue. This is from August 1986. Show me that smile again. Everyone loves that theme song, Growing Pains. All right, TV guides, man. Uh, if you have any uh, issues you love, share the the date, the week, and the year in the comments. I'd love to look them up. I'm always looking for new issues that would be good to have in the collection. I only have a handful. Uh, the bulk of mine are actually, like I said, I have the whole run of this fall preview uh, but otherwise, I just have a, a handful in the collection of other random issues. But I love looking through these and just reading about TV shows I may have missed, I never saw. Um, TV shows I love, movies, that movie guide we just took a look at is always cool to read through. Uh, here's another cool ad for Rudolph the Red-Nosed Reindeer. You can see it there. Awesome. But yeah, TV guides. We'll do more little videos like this, just pulling out random things in the collection. Please hit subscribe if this interests you. Uh, hopefully it doesn't get too boring. I mean, I know I'm just reading you TV guides here, but I thought that was a pretty fun look at some cool items from our past that you can collect cheap. You know, I even have a TV guide rack. This thing would go on the side of your television. Look at this. So it'll stick to the side of your television and you put your TV guides in it. Let's take it out and take a look at it. It's got little sticky pads on it. You could put it on your TV and then you would just throw your TV guides in it. How fun is that? Just a random eBay find. Of course, I've kept it in the box, not looking to throw that on the side of my television, but um, I think it's cooler just having it fresh in the box, the TV guide rack. Um, but yeah, we'll look at random things in the collection like that. Um, please hit subscribe, hit the notifications, follow us on Instagram at oh I had that. And until next time, stay soaked in nostalgia.